Iron Wolf Studio is a joint stock game development company based in Katowice, Poland. We started in 2017 as a two-person board game design studio and after a very successful Kickstarter and delivery of the critically acclaimed Ubo of the board game, we are able to start developing games for the PC. Our years of research on German U-boats in World War II inspired us to create Destroyer the U-Boat Hunter, which represents the other side of the struggle in the Battle of the Atlantic compared to our previous game. Destroyer is historically accurate military simulation thanks to our extensive research and cooperation with military consultants such as Barry Whitty and Tim Naismith. In 2019, we visited USS Kidd Veterans Museum in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We were able to document the entire Destroyer and refine our vision of the game. We've had the honor to talk the, to the actual Korean War veterans who served on USS Kidd, one of them being Sonar and the other the DRT operator. Now let me introduce you to the lead designer of Destroyer, Artur Salvarovsky, who will firstly talk about basic game mechanics. Hello, my name is Artur Salvarovsky and I'm the lead designer of Destroyer, the U-Boat Hunter. Destroyer is a military simulation where you control an American destroyer, a Fletcher-class destroyer, in the Battle of the Atlantic, uh, protecting convoys and hunting U-boats that try to ensnare them and uh, send their precious cargo to the bottom. And uh, what we mostly focus, the mm, whole point uh, of design, was to distill the essence of anti-submarine warfare, so in generic terms to uh, show what's cool about it and enable the players to have fun uh, with protecting the convoys and sending enemy U-boats to the bottom. In Destroyer, uh, gameplay consists mainly in controlling uh, several stations, uh, such as the bridge, the combat information center, the sonar room, uh, the gun director and the lookout stations. So let us show you a brief gameplay example uh, which will cover the core loop uh, of the game. So first we need to check the tactical situation. So you can now uh, observe uh, how the combat information center processes information from many different substations like the uh, tactical display, but also the DRT. These uh, stations combine, uh, allow you to uh, track enemy positions and also um, engage in target motion analysis, which allows us to see how our destroyer is moving against other objects uh, in, uh, in the battle space and then um, through analysis of these movements, you can um, make a plan uh, in order to engage uh, your contact. Uh, after that, once all the attack preparations and uh, calculations are complete, you can um, proceed to engage the target and drop your depth charges on it. So uh, once uh, you are done uh, with your opponent, you can again check the a tactical situation, update all the necessary information and of course send your other escorts to attack because not only are you responsible for your own destroyer but for the uh, you're also responsible for the whole of the escort screen. So obviously once the full version version 1.0 hits uh, Steam uh, we will have uh, a few new variants and mechanics uh, for you to play around with. So um, I'm not going to reveal uh, all the details, obviously, but uh, those that have already been announced, for example, like rescuing survivors uh, in the water. Uh, and uh, since early access, we have already added a few uh, battle variants, such as the ice field that has been our most recent addition. So all of these variants serve to provide uh, more replayability, uh, more variables uh, in, in order to enhance uh, replay, replayability and your fun uh, with, the, uh, with the game. Uh, Destroyer has evolved tremendously since early access and I can't thank our fans enough for directing our attention to all the Mm, faults and uh, things that required more work and uh, uh, and correct uh, and corrections. 
yeah, there have been tons of requests and suggestions by the community and uh, we have always tried to uh, prioritize the most frequently reported issues and uh, mm, we are mm, confident that uh, the final version with all its improvements will be seen as uh, big progress, both uh, in terms of uh, how the game evolved since the demo version, but also for everybody who has played the game since early access. Thank you very much for staying with us until the end of the presentation. We hope that you now have a better understanding of what Destroyer is about and what you can expect from the full version.